Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the Akim or to these videos. All right, so I have here on my screen this video. It was, it's uh, speaking about a situation that happened, you know, pretty much yesterday, June 9th, 2020, Year of Prophecy. You know, the, the title of this video says, uh, Antifa Anarchists Take Control of Seven Blocks, Declare Seattle, Capitol Hill, Autonomous Zone, Civil War. You know, so pretty much, you know, you got uh, right here, you know, black, like a new Black Panther Party, you know, a bunch of jakes with guns, you know, and then a, and a lot of uh, so-called uh, white people, e um, Edomites, you know, and the Antifa ant Anarchists, you know, they got they got a spot in um, in Seattle. Because, yeah, you know, they're, they've been riding over there. They've been kicking the cops out. And so pretty much, you know, and also I believe this is all controlled opposition too. You yeah, know, but nonetheless, you got a little place. It's pretty much, it's uh, seceded out of the American country. You know, because you got the signs pretty much when you walk down this little street that they, that they, that they declare as, you know, autonomous zone. Is it says that you are now leaving the United States of America. You know, so I'm going to go ahead and play uh, just probably like five minutes of the clip. And then I'm gonna go into the scriptures, you know, because you see here in the, um, in the thumbnail is uh, Jake is trying to, you know, make 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 their own, you know, country, you know, pretty much, um, you know, escape the curses that the heavenly Father put on us, you know. So that's um, that's in Deuteronomy, you know, 28 and 65, and specifically in 68. But I'm gonna go ahead and read 65, you know, because this is going to the curses. And so, it's, you know, Deuteronomy 28 and 65, it says, And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and falling, uh, failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. You know, so this whole predicament of us being here in America, which is known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures, you know, is punishment that the Lord put us on. You know, and if you jump down to verse 68, it says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. You know, and this, this is a historical event, you know, known as the transatlantic slave trade. That's how we got over here. You know, and Egypt is pretty much bondage, you know, the land of our captivity, which over here in Babylon, America, it's all those wicked kingdoms, you know, wrapped up in one. Now, so continuing on, it says, Thou shall see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. It's pretty much saying that no one's going to redeem you out of this captivity that the Lord himself put you in. You know, not even yourself. Only person that could take you out of this captivity is him and Yahweh Shai, pretty much. And it's, it's foretold in the scriptures that that's going to happen. It's going to be a great deliverance here in America. You know, there's not going to be, you know, uh, Israelites succeeded out of America in Seattle and, you know, p picked up guns, you know, and pr pretty much you're going to see what they're doing in this video. I want to give you is an encouragement to keep up the fight. This city, this county is going to try to give us concessions, reforms to pacify our movement. We cannot have a pacified movement. Stokely Carmichael said, and I quote, if it's a beautiful quote. If a white man wants to lynch me, that's his problem. If he's got the power to lynch me, that's my problem. It's not a question of attitude, it is a question of power. Of at least Anarchists led by Antifa and Black Lives Matter groups in Seattle have taken control of at least seven blocks in downtown Seattle and have just now officially declared capital and blocks in downtown Seattle yeah, uh, and have just now. I'll pause it right here. You got, you know, so-called uh, black person, Jake, and you got a so-called white person, yeah, Esau. You know, so that's ultimately is why the Lord is not dealing with this little uh, seceded of the states officially declared Capitol Hill in Seattle and its surrounding area. You know, so when you when you get to their spot, you know, it says Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. You are now leaving the USA. Areas stretching to upwards to five miles as an, quote, autonomous zone, a fancy word describing complete and utter anarchy. 
Even city council members have joined the rioters, declaring Capitol Hill and the five mile radius around it, which is quickly expanding with the help of nearby Antifa and Black Lives Matter supporters, supplying the groups of thousands of people with food, water, and shelter for bathing. Antifa has also set up multiple medical sites around Seattle and are directing people in the Seattle area to call their personal hotline phone number with any criminal issues and not the police. Riders are also bringing in soil, planter boxes, and seeds to begin growing long. But in Black Lives Matter, riders have set up multiple structures of barricades and blockades around the city to prevent possible future police presence. Riders are now also equipped with heavy arsenal rifles and firearms as well. Yeah, so that's the thing, thing too is, you know, that's why I believe it's pretty much, uh, you know, set up because, you know, you got Jake over here. They're, they're taking up arms pretty much so they can succeed out of America so they can live like Americans. You know, because ultimately they're just they're just trying to make a, a, a black Amer a so-called black America where, 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 they're, where they're the cops. You know, and they're not going to adhere to the laws of the scriptures. You know, they're pretty much, uh, you know, and it's still in a dead state. You know, because the Heavenly Father wants the Hebrew Israelites, you know, every Hebrew Israelite, you know, to, uh, to be his people. Not their own autonomous zone, civil war, whatever, what have you. You know, so, you know, I'm going to not play the rest of this because you pretty much get the gist. They're pretty much, they're, uh, they're, they're doing their own thing. You know, so this is uh, Hebrews 13 and 14. It says, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. You know, so you shouldn't be seeking, you know, a, a city, a kingdom where, where you got to do this. You know, you got to take up arms, you, you know, and then shake hands with the so-called white man so that he gives you some uh, some dirt and seeds and some um, some bath water so that you can uh, survive out here. And then continue to, uh, you know, live side by side with transgenders you know, the wicked people pretty much, you know, because if you watch this whole video, you pretty much see that this is pretty much this, this, this little, this little city that they have is a godless city, you know, and the Lord is not dealing with that. This is pretty much, this is, this is new America, you know, because it's pretty much, you know, they, they, they seceded from America, but they didn't change anything about what these people believe in. They're all still Americans, you know, Babylonians pretty much, you know, this, this is, um, you know, this is not going to be our rest here in captivity. Yeah, I can go ahead and get that as well. Just real quick. All right, so this is Micah 2 verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. You know, that's talking about here in America. We can't really, you know, make it here. You know, unless until you know the Heavenly Father redeems us out of the captivity that He Himself put us in, you know, via Yahweh Shai and the chariots, you know, and that great deliverance that the Scriptures foretell. You know, so I'm gonna go ahead and read you know some of that you know prophecy. This is Isaiah 52, and I'm starting at verse one. And it says, uh, "Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion." And you know, putting on the strength, you know, to to the Israelites, you know, Zion. Is, is, is adhering to the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, getting right with the Lord. That's that's where our strength lies, not in, you know, taking up arms and, and taking, you know, a single block and asking the white man for handouts. You know, that's not our strength. You know, so continuing on, this it says, Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city, for henceforth there shall be, oh, sorry, it says, it says, There shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. And so let me, let me see real quick if I could try to find, you know, the people who are with this little seceding of America. It's pretty much just a bunch of, uh, you know, anti-Messiah, you know, demonic people, transgender people. Like this person, right? This is a, is a transgender person, you know. So, so you're over here, you're, you're, you know, you're hand in hand with the enemy pretty much, you know, in this little autonomous city which the Lord is not dealing with. This isn't going to be your exit out of captivity here in Babylon. You know, the Lord's got something way better for you. All you got to do is wait. All right, so continue on. It says, For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. You know, because when we get delivered out of Babylon, we're going to receive those spiritual bodies, and we're never going to go off. You know, so that's what's pretty much just saying. is we're never going to be under the heathens, you know, where they're ruling us, and we're never going to be, you know, 
out of power because we're never going to sin. We're never going to die. All right, so continuing on verse 2, it says, Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Lose thyself from the bands of thy, of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. <clears throat> for thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. And you know, we're going to be redeemed pretty much by um, you know, the 144,000 and the one-third you know, of the nation of Israel. You know who who sign and cry for all the abominations done, you know, and preach and prophesy and warn our people uh, of of the mark of the beast. You know those are the people who are going to be redeemed not with money, you know, but with because they have that that you know wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Pretty much they have that thawa of exemption of judgment. You know because the Lord is going to come down here and He's going to judge the two thirds of the nation of Israel and is going to uh, deliver the remnant out of that. And the remnant are going to be doing those things. You know, sighing and crying for all the abominations, you know, all these things, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm going I'm to play. You can play it yourself because you, you can pretty much get the gist of what, what, what's going on. That's pretty much, it's, it's, a, it's a seceded American city that's pretty much America. Oh, but but continuing on the scriptures, verse 4, it says, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power, my people went down for aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there. And the Syrian oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away from not? They that rule over them make them to howl, saith the Lord. And my name continually every day is blasphemed. And you know, so you, that's that's a thing that's happening right now. You know, especially with the whole riots that are going on. You know, everyone you know in the sense are doing it because of the oppression that we're ha we're you know, we're dealing with here in America. You know, but pretty much, you know, they they they're not um in the right spirit. They they think it's um, they think this is this is reparations that that that's uh, that's needed for for the uh, for the abominations that have been done to the Israelites. You know, just a little strip of the city, you know, and having handouts from the white man. All right, so continue on verse six. It says, therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am He that doth speak. Behold, it is I. And you know, and Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai is going to be the ones that's going to deliver us out of captivity. It's not going to be you know a random two-third Jake who picked up a gun and you know posed for the camera with the so-called white man. You know, this guy is most likely, very most likely, a two-thirds of the nation of Israel, and he's going to be destroyed when Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai return. All right, so another precept I have is um, it's in Isaiah 43, verse 5. It says, Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. You know, so it's pretty much, it's not saying, you know, this guy specifically, you know, like I said, he had a name, he got Carl Levington or, you know, what have you. You know, Jacob Stout. You know, it doesn't say Jacob Stout is going to deliver the nation of Israel and, you know, and, and get them out of captivity. You know, it doesn't say, you know, this NW is going to do the job. You know, it says, I, as in Yahweh Shai, is going to do it. All right, so verse 6, it says, I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. You know, so all the 144,000 and the one-third that are scattered throughout the world are going to be delivered. And verse 7 says, even every one that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him, you know, so because uh, pretty much the Heavenly Father, he has something better, you know, for us. You know, this is pretty much just like this is a low point for the nation of Israel, which you're seeing here in this picture. All right, so, you know, there's another precept, you know, specifically on this picture right here, you know, taking up arms. This is John 18, verse 36. It's, it's Yahweh Shai's quote. It says, Yahweh Shai answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world... Then would my servants fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom not from hence. You know, because, you know, in prophecy, you know, the Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob's the beginning of it that followeth. You know, we're going to take the kingdom, you know, but we're only going to do that once Yahweh Shai returns, and with those spiritual bodies. You know, because if we if we were to do that with these corruptible bodies, we wouldn't do it right. We wouldn't we wouldn't do it justice. You know, because as you can see, these people are just, you know, joining hand in hand with the wicked. You know, with uh, with sodomites, you know this and then. You you know they're not eating healthy food, because I I could try to find. There's a picture like they got free food for everybody in the middle of it. It's just a bunch of pop tarts, 
and you know, like just uh, some food that's not good for you. You know, in the kingdom of heaven, man, you got you're gonna have like the best food that you know that that creation can af can offer. Oh, well, can't I can't find the clip of the food pretty much, but you know, ultimately, they're not going to adhere to the law, statutes, uh, statutes and commandments of the Lord in this little city that they, they they've claimed. You know, and, and why 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 should we? Because if this was if this was Yahweh Shai's kingdom, we would fight. You know, we would do this, but we're not because this isn't Yahweh Shai's kingdom. This all of this, even this seceded spot, is Esau's kingdom. And, you know, he's still in rulership. You know, the person that's going to take him out of rulership is Yahweh Shai. All right, so this, you know, the last piece of it, guys, uh, Jeremiah fifty-one verse five, it says, "For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power, of the Lord of hosts." Though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel, flee out of midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. You know, so he's going to render all of Babylon the recompense. You know, so it's it's, it's better to uh, to not be you know staying in the midst of Babylon. You, know, you got to remember Lot's wife. You know, because she looked back at Babylon because of the riches. You know, she missed it pretty much. You know, and I, I press, I don't miss one thing about this place. I can't wait till Yahweh Shai returns and establishes the kingdom of heaven. All right, so yeah, that's the end of this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, and Shalom Akim.